Hi, this is Reverend K. A blessing. And we are once again welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry where we keep the fire of the Holy Spirit burning. Today is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to share with you a secret of, of overcoming adversity or witchcraft or demonic attacks. When you are under severe attack, by witchcraft, by demons, by enemies, everywhere you turn, attack, attack, attack. One thing is you have to resort in fasting. Begin to fast at least from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can do three days fast or you can do seven days fast or you can do one day fast depending on the level of the attack. Secondly, you must be prayerful. The Bible says, watch and pray. Lest you fall into temptation. When you start praying, you begin to pray and break and destroy the attack of the enemy over your life. But today, I just want to share with you a secret scripture that can see you through, that can deploy, that can release and charge the angels of Jehovah to come to your rescue, that can move the hand of the Lord to your, your rescue. And therefore, as you pray and you fast, I want you to use this scripture. Read this scripture seven times before you sleep and meditate on it three times a day. Meditate on it. Read it in the morning. Read it in the afternoon. Read it in the evening. And before you sleep, you can read it seven times and confess it. Stand on it and pray. And God will do for you what the scripture says God will come to your rescue God will deliver you God will rescue you God will send you help that is Psalms 31 Psalms 31 are you going through witchcraft attacks are you going through demonic harassment are your enemies coming against you to put you to shame are you faced with any situation that is overwhelming that you feel like giving up you feel like you are drowning you feel like you are sinking. You feel like you are passing out. You feel like the world is coming to an end. You feel so hopeless and discouraged. Are you under heavy witchcraft attacks? Is somebody releasing spells, charms, and hexes against you? Begin to meditate on this scripture and ask the Lord to bring you rescue. Ask the Lord to deliver you. Ask the Lord to help you. Psalms 31 says, In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Oh Lord, in you am I putting my trust. Let me never be ashamed. My enemies want me to be put to shame, but let me not be ashamed. My enemies are attacking me in my marriage, but let me not be ashamed. My enemies are attacking my finances, but let me not be ashamed. My enemies want to see me dead, but let me not be ashamed. Deliver me, oh Lord, in your righteousness. Deliver me, oh God. Deliver me, oh God. Deliver my marriage. Deliver my husband. Deliver me from spells. Deliver me from charms. Deliver me from witchcraft. Deliver me from every attack of the enemy against my marriage. Deliver me, O Lord Almighty, from my sickness and diseases. Deliver my children. You begin to pray and ask the Lord to bring you deliverance, to send you deliverance. Deliver me from shame. Deliver me from disgrace. Deliver me from this witchcraft attacks. Deliver me from this demonic harassment. Deliver me from setback and retrogression deliver me from stagnation deliver me O lord almighty from failure and defeat deliver me from the spirit of disappointment and rejection deliver me from unemployment deliver me from barrenness lord deliver me from the workers of iniquities enemies that are coming against my marriage enemies that are pursuing my dreams lord deliver me lord deliver me in the name of jesus deliver me O god in the name of jesus deliver me O god bow down thy ears Bow down your ears to me. Deliver me speedily. Lord, deliver me speedily. I need deliverance and I want you to deliver me speedily. There is somebody you are going through a major situation in your marriage, a major problems at your workplace. You are going through witchcraft, harassment and demonic attacks. People are coming against you and they want to see you fail. They want to see you put to shame. May the Lord deliver you speedily. 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 In the name of Jesus, be my rock. 
and my refuge. O oh Lord, be my rock. O oh Lord, be my refuge. O oh Lord, be my rock. O oh Lord, be my refuge. A fortress of defense to save me. A fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. Pull me out. Lord, pull me out. Lord, pull me out. Every net, every trap, every snare, every problem, every complication, any situation they have laid for me, any problem I find myself in it, Lord, pull me out. Lord, pull me out of this problem. Pull me out of this attack. Pull me out of this witchcraft. Pull me out of this problem. Lord, pull my marriage out. Pull my children out. You are, maybe you are going to a court case. Lord, pull me out of this court case. Maybe you are going to take a exam. Lord, pull me out of this failure and defeat. You are going to attack at your workplace. Lord, pull me out of this situation. Lord, pull me out in the name of Jesus. Lord, pull me out. Lord, rescue me. Pull me out. Pull me out. Pull me out of this problem. In the name of Jesus. Whatever problem you are going through, in the name that is above every name, may the Lord Jesus pull you out. May the Lord Jesus pull you out. May the Lord Jesus pull you out. And bring you out. From the net which your enemies have set for your destruction. For you are my strength. Oh Lord, be my strength. Because when you are going through warfare, you begin to lose strength. You begin to be discouraged. You begin to be worn out. You begin to be fatigued. May the Lord be your strength. May the Lord be your strength. According to Psalms 120, Psalm 27, the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Receive strength. Receive strength. Receive strength in the name of Jesus. Into your hands I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me. O oh Lord, you have redeemed me, O oh Lord God, of truth. Lord, redeem my life, redeem my soul. I have hated those who regard useless idols, but I trust in you. I will, be, I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. May the Lord consider your trouble and bring you out of it. You have known my soul in adversity. May the Lord remember you and come to your rescue, come to your sister, come and help you in your day of adversity, in your day of trouble. And have not shut me into the hands of my enemies. Oh Lord, do not deliver me into the hands of my enemies. Oh Lord, do not deliver me into my hands of my enemies. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies. Deliver me from the traps of my enemies. Deliver me from the attacks of my enemies. Deliver me from the attacks of my enemies. Deliver me from the arrows of my enemies. Deliver me from the problems of my enemies. You have set my feet wide places. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, oh Lord. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy on you and deliver you from your troubles. My, my eyes waste away with grief. Yes, my soul and my body, for my life is spent in grief. My years with sign, my strength fills because of my iniquities. O Lord, forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me if I have even sinned against you. That has given the devil, the legal right to attack me. Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Wash me by the blood of Jesus and show me your mercy. I am, I am a reproach amongst all my enemies. It says, and my bones waste away. Verse 11, I am a reproach amongst all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors. I am, a, I am repulsive to my acquaintance. Those who seek me out flee from me. Those who see me out flee from me you become wherever you go you begin to express rejection you begin to see rejection people begin to reject you people begin to disconnect themselves from you people begin to hate on you may the lord almighty come to your rescue you see because of lack of time it is psalms 31 psalms 31 i want you to start reading the scripture in the morning in the afternoon and in the evening, and especially before you sleep in the evening, read it out seven times and begin to ask the Lord, the Father God, send me help in my day of adversity. Deliver me and rescue me. And as you do this, the Lord God Almighty will bring deliverance to you. As you hold on to the scripture, whatever adversity or attack you are going through, God will send you help. If need be, fast, fast three days and ask the Lord to deliver your marriage from divorce and separation, to deliver you from unemployment, to deliver you from barrenness, to deliver your husband from witchcraft spells, to deliver your children from the yoke of the enemy, to deliver you and give you victory as you go for the court case, to deliver you from every problem you find yourself in. I encourage you to go on a three days fast and hold on to Psalms 
31. If you are going through any attack on your life right now, read the scriptures three times a day, seven times before you sleep, and ask the Lord to come through for you. God will intervene and deliver you and show you his salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever you are hearing the sound of my voice, going through any challenge, any problem, any attack, any situation, may the Lord bring deliverance to you speedily. May the Lord bring deliverance to you speedily. May the Lord be your rock and your refuge. May the Lord send you help and may the Lord be your salvation. In Jesus' mighty name, may God make a way for you where there seems to be no way. May the Lord break the power of witchcraft on your life. May the Lord make a way. May the Lord help you to break out and break loose and break free from the powers of darkness in the name of Jesus. May the Lord save you and deliver you. Psalms 31, let it be your scripture of meditation, your, your scripture of confession, your sp uh, the scripture of prayer, and you have to go on a fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Fast and ask the Lord to send you help. And the Lord will do that in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, to also help you um, get this book, Spiritual Diagnosis. Spiritual Diagnosis. Spiritual Diagnosis. You can get it on our website. It will also help you to know how to effectively fight against the powers of darkness, which is wizards, demons, principalities, spiritual warfare, spiritual powers in high places. This book will help you. Spiritual Diagnosis. It will open your eyes up to spiritual things and how the devil is fighting us. For the Bible says that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are dealing with demonic energy entities that want to see us fail, that want to see us destroyed, this book will open your eyes up into the spiritual realm, the spiritual world, and how the devil releases different types of attack to destroy us, and you'll be able to know how to effectively pray and frustrate the plans of the enemy. It's called Spiritual Diagnosis. You can get your copy on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com, www.freshfireprayer.com. Go to our website, you can order the ebook, and it will be emailed to you, you can get the paperback, and it will be sent to you. The ebook, if you order the ebook, it will send to your email within 24 hours. And if you want it in a Kindle form, then you can also buy it on Amazon. Uh, and the um, um, Amazon is also connected to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. And go to our store, freshfireprayer.com, and click on store, and you can also connect it to Amazon. Or go to Amazon and type, go to Amazon and type K, K, K A Y. K A Y and the last name is L Blessing E L B L E S S I N G K L Blessing and this book will show up with my other books and you'll be able to order the Kindle form and begin to read it and as you use the Psalms 31 the Lord Jesus will bring deliverance to you and come through for you in the mighty name of Jesus and you are welcome to join us every Sunday we meet in this church from 9 a.m. to 11 30, 9 a.m. in the morning to 11.30 a.m. Join us every Sunday for our Sunday services. Our, our address is 10495 Theodore Greens Boulevard. 10495 Theodore Greens Boulevard, White Plains, Maryland. 10495 Theodore Greens Boulevard, White Plains, Maryland. Uh, we are located in Maryland, so if you're in D.C., Virginia, Maryland, you can join us every Sunday. If you know loved ones who don't have a church, let them come, and they will be richly blessed. And every Tuesday from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m., we meet for Bible studies. Tuesdays, 6.30, 6.30 to 8 p.m., we meet for Bible studies in this, this same location, 10495 Theodore Greens Boulevard. White Plains, Maryland. Come, and your life will never be the same. Go to our website, and you also find out that every Tuesdays and Fridays, we have a prayer line which people can call and join us for prayers, deliverance, restoration, and breakthrough prayers. Wherever you are in this world, you can join the prayer line on Tuesdays. On Tuesdays, if you're in the U.S., we meet at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Call the prayer line number, connect, or you can join us live on YouTube and on Facebook. YouTube or Facebook or, pray, or call the prayer line number. Uh, all the information is on our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. Freshfireprayer.com. You can also join us if you're in England. England, you join us Wednesdays, 3 a.m every Wednesdays and, uh, and and Saturdays are going to be 4 a.m. If you are joining us from Europe, it will be 4 a.m. on Wednesdays and 5 a.m. on Saturdays. 
and the information is on our website www.freshfireprayer.com subscribe to our youtube channel and our facebook channel and stay connected to this ministry and may the lord bless you bye